but I'm not referring to every minister. No, I can't be. Now, where they find answer, oh, they don't answer now, oh, they don't answer now. Hi, welcome to my channel. If today is your first time of coming back here, hello. And if you're my wonderful returning subscriber, hello, hello. So, a lot of people have been so curious, or questions have been asked. And I think those questions or those queries have been answered. All your goals cannot add value to your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Caution! Caution! There are people who must delete from your list of contact. Delete them. Delete them. There are people you meet that will end your life. Delete them from your list. Amen. I love Jesus. And I'm telling you by the Holy Ghost, don't be the enemy of your destiny. Get smart Hallelujah. and walk in the truth. Get smart and walk in the truth. I love all ministers, but I'm not a friend to every minister. No, I can't be. Don't let us deceive ourselves. Nothing can work in Nigeria. I can't be your friend. I'm a repairer of the breach. I can't guarantee you. When I don't hear him, he's a repairer of the bridge and he's not a destroyer of the bridge and he cannot be friends with every minister. Yes. So, for some of you who are actually confused, like what's with the whole talk and everything, let me give you a little bit breakdown. So, there was um, last week was a burial of late um, TB Prophet TB Joshua. And the burial caused a lot of speculation among most Nigerians, both the ones in Nigeria and the ones outside Nigeria. I believe it was not just only Nigerians, even some Africans actually had a question like some people had um, that question behind uh, in their brain and they were looking for an answer for it. And it was like the answer was not forthcoming. And if you were really on YouTube last week, you realized that most of the videos that trended was basically about TV Joshua's burial and, you know, ministers who attended and ministers who did not attend the burial. So, on Sunday, in fact, not on Sunday, so the whole thing was actually trending, you know, even Omono, uh, Omono, oh, oh, Reno Mercury even said something about it as in like that was to show you how the whole thing trended like he had to come out and say you know what this country is already in a bad shape that we should be here you know thinking about or disturbing ourselves about who attended burial who did not attend burial so as i was saying people had their speculation a lot of people came up with this um saying that you know most pastors they preach in church you know you go to the service they are preaching love love your neighbor as thyself christ is all about love you know love 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 but yet the moment or the um the a situation or a condition a, a, an avenue came for them to actually show that okay this love i preach this agape love that i actually stand on the order every sunday or in the midweek to preach about i can actually extend that love so most people felt this uh, people were most people were disappointed that most um majority of the popular general overseers in nigeria did not um at, say, uh, attend um, the burial of late prophet tv joshua and not just attending they did not actually you know maybe drop a condolence message you know show concern to us that okay this uh this is a popular man of god he was also even if our faith as in what we stand for does not really align but he preached god he preached jesus right like most people expected that okay these ministers will come out you know and acknowledge that this man has passed away you know show concern let that be um what's the english just you know show the word that okay you actually heard that this person have passed away reach out to the family but such never came but the only thing that happened was uh, uh, one of the nigerian ministers one of the nigerian geos came out and wrote a long epistle <laughs> not only i'm knowing in fact if you read that epistle you know even if you sabi english i'm on deck 
this man i'll be like say he, whether he thought we, as we attended the same bar like, law law school together or what that this man he came and he was finishing us with english <laughs> so he he the, the right up day was really a bad one as although he didn't mention names but you definitely know who he was talking about there was a demise of a prophet of a man of god and you wake up the, uh, the, a few days after and you're writing an, uh, a, 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 an article about someone who demise and also a man of god so all fingers was pointed towards uh, the direction of the late prophet tb joshua so that chris okoti aside if you have watched up to this extent i beg you help your sister help me help my ministry help me just like this video if you love the voice you're hearing and also if you are interested in the content i release please make sure you join the family by just clicking the subscribe button i really appreciate thank you all right to continue this our gist though hmm. so i'm um, please 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 don't say i talk too much i'm gonna rant when we they here they do ranting we are here to discuss dissect dissect oh, english dissect everything that is happening in nigeria you know things i feel that we need to actually talk about we talk about it in this channel so back to the story of our geos so on sunday like before sunday so the whole thing was trending in nigeria people talked you know people were talking why is uh, the geos not coming forth to say anything so finally um david oh yeah that well, has actually you know he didn't come out straight if you watch that video very well you understand he didn't call anybody's name he was not really specific it was just a generic thing that he said it was a generic um sentence if i will use it that way but we all know the direction he was heading to if you have been following the things that have been happening in nigeria you know the direction you definitely know what caused him to come out and say that so he said he might he might know a lot of pastors he might know so many pastors but he cannot be friends to all pastors i would like to hear your own opinion down at the comment section because i'm going to give my own opinion in this video i also want to hear from you and know if my own stand is right or if not right so back to the story that he can he knows many ministers but he cannot be friend he cannot be friends with all of them and i choose and i stand with him please i'm sorry i know so many nigerians are of the mentality that okay this man of god we are meant to do this, this but let's let me let me let's even try and give example you know when you're actually writing an article or you're writing an essay you have to present an example okay let me give an example you who you are listening to this video right now listening to this thing like there are people who are your friends and there are people who you know that are not your friends even you can even you cannot even put them in acquaintance this thing they're not even your acquaintance ones that you know them maybe you have met them maybe you have not met them so let me say for instance like somebody that you know but you are not really close to that you're not personally there is no personal relationship between you and the person like even if you have come across the person one or two times or maybe you have gone to the person's shop and you heard oh something like this happened to the person i believe you're, you're not going to attend the person's burial even if you hear okay that they're bringing the person on so 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 dates you're not going to be you're not going to attend the person's burial you are, nobody's going to mandate you to attend and even if you attend you don't attend nobody's going to come and call you out oh you did not attend this burial oh oh that oh that you know why because you are not really close to this person because people even if you 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 saw the person you spoke to the person that relationship that push that thing that would have made you to go for that barrier was not really there although you are going to feel bad that this person passed away but you are not going to you're not going to attend the barrier right okay now let's carry that scenario and bring it into this men of god's aspects like we are judging them because they are men of god we are judging them because they are geos they are very popular they are famous people right but we forget that there is something called relationship like if you can look back to the times during the time of late prophet tb joshua in he, when he was still alive the first question you will ask yourself is did prophet T, was there really a relationship between him and these pastors did was there at any point that they were seen together yes you're going to come to me or come at me with the whole okay the controversial people thought he was controversial most ministers you know fine and good i accept that i accept most people felt he was controversial and maybe that was what affected some of their relationship that some of them were not really enclosed them with them so it happened when he was alive right 
and when he was dead what did he expect these ministers to do people who were not working with him in, in in his lifetime and we expect them to come and work with him in his death like i i was i was thinking about this whole scenario i told myself that it's a two-way thing if they have attended people will talk and if they did not attend people will talk so you know what they just chose the worst what comes to worst you're not going to at- you you will talk because i did not attend and i know i, I was not meant to attend and i didn't want to attend and i felt comfortable not attending and you know that is just what it is all right you have come to the end of this video i know i've talked too much thank